Hey everyone, welcome to this video lecture. In this video, I'm going to walk you through how to install Ansible on Ubuntu 22.04. Written in Python, Ansible is an open source automation tool for automating manual IT processes. It is typically used for tasks such as application deployment, configuration management, and orchestration. It can be used on both cloud and on-premise environments. And unlike other automation tools such as Chef and Puppet, Ansible does not use agents on remote nodes. Rather, it communicates with the nodes via SSH for secure connections. And this makes Ansible a lightweight and easy to adopt solution compared to other automation tools. With the definition out of the way, now let's get started. So here is our lab setup. So here I have three systems. First, I have the Ansible control node on which I'm going to, con to install Ansible. And then I have two managed nodes or remote nodes that are going to be controlled by the Ansible control node. So for all the nodes, I am running Ubuntu 22.04. Now here, as you can see, I'm logged in to the Ansible control node. And just to verify the version, I'm going to run the command lsb underscore release hyphen a. And as you can see, I'm running the latest version of Ubuntu 22.04. Okay. Now let me clear the screen. So the first step is to update the local package index. And to do so, simply run the command sudo apt update and hit enter. So here I'm going to provide my password and hit enter. So as you can see, the system is updating the local apt cache. And this is going to take just a few seconds. So just give it some time. All right, we are done. Now I'm going to clear the screen. You can update all the packages to their latest versions by running the command sudo apt upgrade with the hyphen y option for non-interactive upgrade okay so as before this might take a bit of some time so just be patient and the upgrade of the packages is complete so once again i'm going to clear the screen okay so the second step is to add the ansible ppa now the ansible PPA shares the latest software, especially when the official Ubuntu sources do not provide the latest packages. Okay, so here we are going to add the Ansible PPA. All right, and to do so, simply run the command sudo apt hyphen add hyphen repository, then space PPA full colon ansible forward slash ansible okay so this command is going to add the ppa and by the way ppa stands for personal package archive all right so this is going to add the ansible repository to your system so just hit enter and this will walk you through a few steps okay so first of all you can see a description of ansible okay and then here you have the ansible main site and now to proceed simply press enter okay so as you can see this is being added to your sources list and we're done all right so once ansible repository is added to the sources list what you need to do is to update the local cache so to synchronize the ansible repository so i'm going to run the command sudo apt update and hit enter Okay, so as you can see, we have the PPA here that we've just added. All right, so now the system can now start using the Ansible repository. Okay, now with the PPA added, the next step is to install Ansible. And to do so, simply run the command sudo apt install Ansible and hit enter. So here you can see the packages to be installed. Okay and a number of dependencies now to proceed simply type y on the keyboard and hit enter 
Now this will take a few seconds to install, so just be patient. And there we go, so Ansible has successfully been installed. Now let me clear the screen. Now once Ansible is installed, it's always advisable to check the version. So here I'm going to run the command Ansible with a double hyphen, then followed by version and hit enter. So this gives you some batch of information about the Ansible version installed. So here you can see I have installed Ansible version 2.16.11. So here you can see this is the path of the Ansible configuration file and these are the paths where Ansible will find the modules, okay? So here you can see this is the path to the Python, to the Ansible Python uh, module location, okay? And down here below you can see the Python version which is Python 3.10.12 which by the way we can confirm here by running the command Python uh, version and hit enter, sorry, Python 3 version. Okay, so here you can see we have Python 3.10 which corresponds here to Python 3.10.12. Okay, so this is the Jinja version. Jinja is a templating engine. All right. Okay, so this is sure proof that we have successfully installed Ansible. Okay. Now let me clear the screen. Now the next step is the host machine setup. Now to control the managed or remote nodes, we need to define them inside the Ansible control node inventory file. So the inventory file is simply a blueprint of all the managed nodes that will be managed by the Ansible control node. And to do so, we are going to access the inventory file, which by default is at the Etsy Ansible hosts path. So the hosts, this is the hosts file. So I'm going to hit enter. Okay, so here on the first line, you can see that this is the default Ansible hosts file. Okay. And as you go through it, you can see there are, there are various ways of defining the managed nodes. You can group them one by one. So for example, here you can see ungrouped hosts. Okay, so here you can specify them by a domain name, for example, this one here, or by using the IP address. Okay, but the most preferred way is to group the hosts using a a host group. So for example, in this case, you can see we have a host group called web servers and under web servers, you can list the managed nodes using either the domain name or the IP address. All right. So here I'm going to scroll all the way down and I'm going to come up with a sample. Uh, I'm going to come up with a sample group name. So here I'm going to give it a name and call it app servers. So be sure to define a group name. You can call it whatever you want. So here I'm going now to define my managed nodes and I'm going to do so using their IP addresses. Okay. So here I'm going to define the first node, which is 10.176.0.0.0. And then the second one is 10.176.22.1. All right. So here you can see I've grouped my two nodes under the host group called app servers. All right. So here I'm going to save the file by pressing Ctrl O, hit enter, then Ctrl X to exit the file. All right. Now I'm going to confirm my inventory and the nodes contained in my inventory list. So to do so, I'm simply going to run the command sudo ansible hyphen inventory, then list hyphen y. So as you can see, we have our two managed nodes listed here. Okay and they are grouped under the app servers 
host group. All right. Okay, so now let me clear the screen again. Okay, so now the next step is to set up the SSH keys in the host machines. Okay, so I'm going to switch to the root user to do so. So I'm going to run the command sudo su with the hyphen. Okay, so now I'm at the root user and I can confirm this using the command who am I? And as you can see, we are running as root. Now we are going to generate the SSH keys using the SSH keygen command like that. So here I'm going to just go with the defaults. So I'm just going to hit enter all the way. So I do not need any passphrase. So I'm just going to hit enter. And again, I'm going to, going to hit enter. Okay, so as you can see, uh, the public, uh, the public and the private keys have been saved in this path here. Okay, so I can use the ls la command to confirm this. So this is a directory where the SSH key pair has been saved. Okay, so once again, I can use the ls l then dot ssh. Okay, so here you can see. This is the private key, which is supposed to remain on this node. And this is the public key, which we are going to copy to our remote nodes. All right. Now, let me clear the screen again. Okay. So now what you're going to do, we're going to copy the public key to the two managed nodes. And to do so, simply run the command SSH copy ID then root at 10.176.22.1 and hit enter. So this is going to prompt you for the remote user's password. So here I'm going to type yes to continue. Then I'm going to provide the password and hit enter. And as you can see, we have saved the key to the remote node, okay? And we can now log in passwordlessly or without a password to the remote system using this command here. So let's try it out. So I'm going to run the command ssh root at 10.176.22.1 and hit enter. And there we go. So as you can see, we are now at the remote node. Okay. And just to confirm where the key has been saved, I'm going to use the ls la command and hit enter. So here you can see we have the dot ssh directory. So let's check out this directory and see what's in there. So here we have a file called the authorized keys. So the public key from the Ansible control node is saved in this file. So we can just verify this using the cat command. So cat.ssh, then forward slash authorized keys. Okay, so this is the hashed, this is the hashed notation for the authorized, for the public key, okay? And at the end here, you can see our identity for the Ansible control node, okay? So now I'm going to exit from the remote node by running the command exit and now we are back at our control node okay so similarly we are going to copy the key to the other remote node so once again i'm going to run the ssh copy id command then root at 10.176.22.1 so we're going to go through the same drill. So I'm going to type yes. And then here I'm going to provide the password for the remote system. And as you can see, the key was successfully added. Okay. Now that we have configured to access the nodes using passwordless SSH, now we can test the host machine's access. Okay. So now let me clear the screen. So to test the accessibility of the remote hosts from the Ansible control node, simply run the command ansible-m ping 
then here I'm going to provide the all directive. So here all means all the nodes. So I'm going to hit enter. And as you can see, we get a successful or a positive response. Okay, so this is the first, this is the IP of one of the nodes and the IP of the remaining nodes. And as you can see, we have successfully managed to reach the nodes by running the command. Okay, so alternatively, instead of all, you can provide the host group name. So here we had app servers. So hit enter. So similarly, you're going to get a success, uh, a successful uh, response, as you can see on the screen. Okay. Alternatively, you can also decide to use the individual host's IP address. So here, 176.22.1. Okay, so you can see we can reach that one. And let's try the second one. And additionally, you can see we are able to reach the second node. Okay, so we have successfully installed Ansible on the Ansible control node. And we have configured the remote nodes to be accessed by the Ansible control node. Okay, so that's it guys for this video lecture. I hope you found it insightful. So please leave a like and subscribe to get more of these Linux tutorials. So that's it from us. Have a nice time and see you in the next video.